Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for a Leo. How are you guys? See where your energies are at. Leo, what does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? That one came out first. Okay, there you go. Masculine. Leo, could be an Aries or Sag. I see an Empress energy here as well. Very nice, the start of something new. We have an empress here. Yeah, I see two people wanting to connect here. So I do see a connection. Yeah, it's the start of a new connection here. And I feel this is someone who's determined. Someone who knows what they want. Beautiful. They want to connect. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, it could be a crush. You might not see it coming, but there's somebody here who hasn't quite hasn't quite made a decision. Now, we have the Empress here. This could be someone who has choices. Yeah, choices could be single parent energy, um, but I feel this is an energy of someone who's, you know, it's often romanticizing, but it has to do with someone making a choice. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. What have we here? You might not see it coming. I mean, it could be a crush. Oh, we have an emperor. We have an emperor and empress. This is massive because this is two people who know what they want. Uh, I feel we have someone here. It's a person here who I feel hasn't made up their mind yet. Or they just, like I say, it's often sometimes a person who sort of fails to see something as well. Now, some of you, there could be choices here. Maybe choices made in the past. Or something someone didn't see or hasn't seen yet. We'll see. Yeah, I'm getting a sort of mixed messages there. Yeah, this is somebody with pride here. So you know, this could be a, a Sagittarius, but it has to do with someone's pride. It's a person who's determined. I mean, it has to do with someone looking to see if someone's giving attention to someone else too. But this is someone coming in pretty fast here. This is someone aiming for success planning, preparing for success. So this is someone who's very hopeful. Yes, they're successful. I don't know if you're going to see this coming and it could go either way. Yeah, we have a person here. Look at that. So this is someone who's putting on the brakes here. They're taking another look. Someone's taking another look. Now, this is also an energy of what two people can provide for each other. So this is someone who's very determined uh, that this is successful, but it, it's somebody who's taking this little moment and just putting on the brakes and taking another look. Now, it's often just somebody who checks someone out when they walk in the room. They look successful. <laughs> uh huh. We'll see where this goes. Let's have a look at the Empress. Mm hmm. Confirmation. This is definitely an Empress. <laughs> so this is a person who's often open, yeah, keeps their options open. This is someone who's successful, I feel, or reasonably so. Very creative energy, someone who's always open for new ideas. Yeah, beautiful. There's a, some sort of connection. Yeah, we've got a person who's curious, someone who's very curious. So this could be just someone who just, you know, putting on the brakes, taking a look here before they move but this is someone who generally goes right after what they want so could be a sad energy but if you are a masculine leo you could be dealing with a sagittarius but it's just the energy and also see the leo energy you see it's an energy of confidence somebody here is doing some thinking they're curious they're not quite ready to communicate they're just thinking right now but they're starting to feel confident. See, it's an energy of this, this attraction. There's a, uh, some sort of a connection here. Could be someone, could be someone that you knew before. It's possible, maybe when you were young. It's a person who's very curious, though. I mean, they're just thinking right now. They're not quite ready to communicate. It's a novice, so they, they're not quite ready to communicate. They're about, they're still kind of trying to decide here. But it's often sometimes a person who fails to see something and now they're taking another look. See, it's an energy of strength and confidence. Someone who's confident, the way they handle themselves, the way somebody walks into a room. Uh-huh. It's just, it's what it keeps telling me. So pretty neat. Let's have a look at this too. Uh, this could do with work too. This could be a work situation. Look at that. You know, yeah, see, there's an energy of competition. Someone looking to see if there's competition. 
So it also has to do with challenges. This, I, you know, like I say, there's some challenges here. It's somebody here looking at this, but it does look like competition. Somebody here wants to know. They're checking things out here. Oh, yeah, they want to get something going. High vibrational. There's a really strong attraction here. Yeah, so it could be, like I say, it could be somebody here, you know, looking at the past, how something happened. You know, but you can see we have an emperor and empress, two people who are successful, two people who are determined, and I do see the confidence. So this is really cool. But I feel with the five of wands, like I say, as someone here looking to see if there's competition. Now, I don't know if there was any drama or anything here, but to me, it looks competitive, someone needing to take action. So it has to do with someone chasing. See, an empress isn't chasing. So this person is the one who's got to take action. So they're just kind of thinking right now. Well, definitely things are being exposed. I see a lot of happiness and joy getting something going. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the emperor. What does this emperor want? Yeah, something, some, they're making a decision. This is someone making a decision, a judgment. It could be someone who judged somebody wrong and they're taking another look. But to me, it just looks like someone who's... Um, releasing it's always about the release and renew so it could be somebody who's moving on from another person too this is someone who often is used to being chased and i we've got an empress who's not chasing so this person's like oh okay <laughs> what's up with this yeah there's an energy of what two people can provide too and i see that here yeah, you can see there's an energy of change, the world. So this has to do with somebody who's moved on from something here. They're ready for something new. So it's somebody who's about to make a decision. And I feel they're not quite ready to communicate. Yeah, they're getting in their feelings, though. Look at that, the emotional feelings. They're going deep. And it could, like I say, it could be someone who just didn't see what was right in front of them. And it could have to do with some kind of change here. But I, I feel it's this is often change for the better. It's very positive energy. But it's about kind of going with the flow, seeing how something happens here. So often it's, you know, it's either you know them or it's a crush. Someone is just keeping it to themselves right now. But there's definitely deep emotion. Someone's going very deep into their feelings here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so someone is not ready to move. They're not budging. Someone's not ready to move. So yeah, with this energy, I definitely feel some of you might know who this is. Because it has to do with someone who's, um, could be someone looking to see if there's competition if someone's moved on. But it has to do with someone making a move. Someone has to make a move. They have to get this going. So there's deep feelings. That's why I feel it. I mean, it could be just somebody who's emotionally ready. But you can see again, like there is this someone keeping everything close to their chest. They're not moving. Someone's not quite ready to make a move or nobody's moving. If you are aware of who this is, I see nobody budging and moving. <laughs> Yeah, we have a single person. Yeah, this is two people who have everything they need. So it's, and, and I don't feel so much as protection as I feel more like just not ready to make a move, plain and simple. Someone here is making a decision. They'll, this is someone who decides when they're ready. Tell me more about the chariot. Tell me a little more about this chariot energy. Yeah, this is somebody here kind of waiting. You can see waiting. This is someone looking at the past. Seeds planted in the past. Definitely some of you know who this is. Yeah, it's an emperor. So the emperor is just kind of waiting here. But it has to do with, uh, it. to me, it feels like someone having to, needing to initiate. And we have a person, and I'm going to tell you, if you're single and you've been just sticking to yourself, keeping to yourself, this is often someone who's, if you've had a person who's kept you stuck and single, you're moving on from that, okay, or they are. Because this is often someone who's stuck and single, someone who keeps them stuck. So this is an energy of uh, the ship has sailed. For some of you, you got a situation where it's just too late, the ship has sailed. So it does look like there's somebody coming in here, a new crush. Yeah, it has to do with, there it is, the path. Someone's going down a whole new path, but it could be this uh, masculine or feminine energy here but this is an emperor this is a this is crazy uh, you know what's so bizarre about this it's almost like we've got this empress who's an empress and an emperor energy does that sound bizarre 
Mm-hmm. Because someone's waiting while someone's waiting here. But the ship has sailed. This is the path. Someone's moved on. So someone has definitely moved on. But it has to do with someone making a move, approaching the other person. So this is a life path choice decision, a big deal for someone here, whether you know who they are or not. Some of you, yeah, definitely it's someone you know uh, from some time ago. But all this time waiting. See, it's about waiting for a situation uh, to come to fruition here. So while someone's been waiting, they've either become an emperor or, and it could be just the masculine leveling up here. But I feel like this is someone here who's, this is the decision. I mean, it could be a reconciliation, but I feel some of you've moved on. If you have someone who wants to reconcile, I really feel like you're more focused on someone else here. Yeah, see, there's an energy of some kind of truth. So this has to do truth, success, win or lose. So someone's coming in, win or lose. Oh yeah, the fire's lit. This is someone win or lose. So this is where I feel, this, and it could be the feminine or masculine here, but we know the feminine doesn't chase. So this is somebody chasing. They're coming in. They're determined, but they are, and this is their strong mind, strong will, the willpower of an emperor. But there's willpower here too. This is a bit of a power struggle too, because nobody's budging, whether it's new or old. But I find this really cool. Definitely several scenarios. But yeah, I mean, that the chariot is, for, for some of you, it's someone looking at this, something they failed to see. It was the empress that someone's not chasing. Now, this is somebody who, because there's this, everything's turned around like the tables are turned. Now this person has to chase after the other person. Yeah, that has to do with what someone initiating. See, it has to do with someone initiating a conversation. So it has to do with truth. This person may have initiated Someone has initiated possibly the feminine because the empress will do that. So someone with a lot of abundance, they have a lot to offer. They're, they look out for themselves. They're stable, very independent energy. But it has to do with someone initiating. Now the tables are turned. The other person has to. This is what's happening. So there is something here for some of you. Others of you, the ship has sailed. You've moved on. Okay, you're not initiating. You're, you may be actually starting something with someone else, but it has a feminine image on it, but it could be a masculine. Yeah, see, it's an energy of uh, manifesting this. It has to do with communicating. Someone who has everything they need. They have the tools, the information, everything they need to manifest their desires. So this is someone who's not going to initiate. It's someone who's likely before, maybe when they were younger, would initiate and chase after someone, but this is a somebody who's mature. So it could be that way. But look at the passion, the ambition here. <laughs> I feel like this emperor is kind of looking at this too. I mean, they're like, okay, they need to hurry up and make a decision because there may be competition. So there is a bit of a need to kind of hurry a bit here because that's about taking action, something that's worth fighting for and going after. See, someone, and if it is somebody who moved on, this is someone who should have went after someone. So... Again, take it as it resonates. But there's the truth. Someone going, aha, they need to be the one to initiate. But the fire, the passion. Ooh, like this person's just like, they're all revved up. <laughs> this, this is someone who likes the chase, so I wouldn't worry too much. Yeah, see? Look at that. See, there's that energy again. Some of you, you know this person. Something they failed to see. There's reminiscing. See, they're reminiscing. A lot of fire and passion, but someone put on the brakes, possibly. It could be the feminine or masculine. Yeah. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Where's this headed? Ooh, that's coming out quick. Yeah, there's been some heartache. Yeah, someone's worried about a third party or they're, they're, it's a fear of being hurt or that there's competition. So, but yeah, someone here is definitely, there's been some hurt in the past. I don't know if this person hurt you or you hurt them or it's just past energy. But it's an energy of two people longing for love. It could be two people just thinking it's so much simpler when you're young. And now that you're older, it's a little more complicated about who initiates. So see, when you're young, people just initiate and do as they do what they whatever they feel. It's spontaneous. It, it, you just do it. But this is two mature people. See, th times have changed too. See, things have changed. But it has to do with taking action. So I don't know if there was some kind of confrontation for some of you here where somebody was hurt. 
But now someone's taking another look here. And I do feel there's been hurt and heartache in the past. Two people longing for love. This is some, also, again, now it's showing up. Someone protecting themselves because they've been hurt, keeping things close to their chest. So there's a lot of deep emotional feelings. So interesting energy. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Yeah, see, someone's going, aha, seeing the truth. So it's a fear, you know. Uh, I feel often this is more someone who's a little afraid of being hurt because they've been hurt in the past, sort of looking. But it's about it's about the simplicity of it. It should be simple. It should be easy. See, I feel it's just kind of complicated because of all these hurts, whether you know each other or not. Tell me about the Empress. What does this Empress want? Empress is just sitting there, focusing on themselves, doing their own thing. Definitely an person is independent. Yeah, The Empress wants the King of Wands. <laughs> That's what the Empress wants, is the King of Wands, to initiate, to take action. It's an energy of fighting someone, you know, fighting for someone. But like I say, maybe there was competition. This is someone who generally isn't afraid of the competition. I mean, we have an emperor, but this is what somebody wants, is this person to take action, if someone to know what they want, to be confident. See, it's about wanting someone to come in and be confident, to take action, something worth fighting for. Yeah, see, there's this passion, this spark, this attraction. The empress is hoping to attract, too. This is someone who's attracting. Ooh, this is quite interesting. But it has to do with that Ace of Wands, the fire, the passion, a passionate new beginning. This is what the Empress wants. Yeah, but the Empress is attracting by not chasing. Oh, yeah, this is someone wise. This is someone discerning, someone who's been hurt before. Now, this is love, too. This isn't always hurt because to me it looks like love because I really, I mean, I'm not other than... Maybe some kind of argument or competition. Often the empress won't compete if there's competition and someone wants to want someone to compete. That could be an energy. The empress doesn't compete, and also an but an emperor will definitely. Um, I mean, an emperor is rarely uh, concerned about competition unless somebody's actually in a relationship. But we have a feminine who's doing some thinking and analyzing. See, this is someone who sees the bigger picture, looking into the future. See, being wise, someone being discerning. So this is someone being quite discerning, someone who speaks their mind. But it's somebody who, like I say, this is someone who sees a future with this person, but only if they come in and take action because they're not budging and giving in because it looks like it's an empress who, when they were young, they would chase. Now they no longer chase. So it's an energy of a person doing a lot of thinking about this. Yeah, a lot of analytical energy, but it has to do with someone confident with the choice. This is someone confident with the choice they're making not to chase. It's not always in your best interest, So, but that's what this feminine energy wants. They want the king of wands. Tell me about the world. So the, it's an energy of change. Look at that. See, happiness, high vibrational energy. It's about someone putting themselves out there. See, it could be where the tables are turned. But it has to do with change. A lot of happiness, emotional fulfillment. Yeah, someone here is very happy. They're just waiting. This is someone, a feminine, doing their own thing. But it's we got two people waiting and no one's budging. This person, the masculine needs to take the lead. It's about this person taking the lead. This is a natural born leader. See, it's an energy of manifesting this. And it has to do with communication. Someone's being patient. This is someone who's only patient for so long, though. You see, we have someone who's kind of thinking here, well, if they don't come in and take action, maybe they have other interests. You see, there may be competition. But someone here at some point, I feel, has cut somebody out. And that's what I feel here because of that, too. So there is a couple of people here. Yeah, see a couple people, someone waiting. So it's like I say, it's someone here definitely could have other options. But I'm seeing some kind of good news. There's some kind of positive news and change. Because someone's moved on from something here, too. Now, I also see possibly moving, relocating energy. 
And now I see that seven up. See, it's about investing, somebody being patient, investing, hoping something pays off. So the feminine's not budging and they're hoping it pays off because this is someone who's initiated before and they ended up getting hurt or there was um, someone was interested in someone else possibly. This chaos conflict change. We know chaos and conflict creates change. So, but there's the magician again. See, you're mirroring. This is two people mirroring. You both want this. This is two people who want this. But it's an energy of having to communicate. Two people who have everything they need but love. Two people longing for love. but if, And there's been hurt in the past. So, like I say, I mean, I don't know whether. And there could be jealousy. Someone trying to make someone jealous. Or there is jealousy. Sometimes this isn't hurt or third party. It's often jealousy. See, some youthful energy. Something that happened here. But it has to do with keeping things simple. See, it's complicated, I feel. Something complicated. Yeah, I feel it's more like jealousy because of the five of wands. Someone manipulating, trying to make someone jealous. Maybe this is what two people are thinking here. But I really, there's going to be some kind of truth here. and Someone's going, aha. Let's have a look at the Ace of Swords. I feel that this feminine's thinking the other person thinks they're trying to make them jealous. But I don't really feel that's the case. Yeah, see someone tempering their thoughts. See, it's calming down. It's an energy of trying something. See, this is someone different than someone's usual type. See, someone here is used to being chased. But it's an energy of trying something different. So this is, I feel, a feminine trying something different manifesting this by not reaching out, not budging or giving in. Now, it has to do with this other person. There is this Sagittarius energy here, too, of somebody here who is tempering their passions, pulling back, seeing things different. See, someone's seeing things in a whole different light here after a period of time. Because it has to do with this person who, I mean, this feminine is not moving. But we got, because it's in the middle, nobody's budging or moving. You're both trying the same thing, trying to get the other person to come after them. Who's making the move here? Come on already. Yeah, and I do feel like I say someone may be manipulating, trying to make someone jealous. And that could be something that maybe happened before. That's a youthful energy. So I don't really feel like it is. I really don't. But someone here is thinking something is off here. Yeah, I re you know, I'm going to tell you all isn't what it seems here. I can see it already. It's just, just two people who, who've, you know, that youthful energy. When you're young, you just go after what you want. You're not afraid of the chase. It's fun, right? You know, a lot of people love the chase. It's exciting because I can see that passion, that excitement. But this feminine is very determined. See, this is someone very strong mind, strong will. Who's got the stronger willpower? Well... I do feel there's a little power struggle there. So I do feel it's this masculine who is putting on the brakes, taking another look. So I do think this person's probably going to kind of calm down, look at things different and see the truth. They need to take the lead. I mean, this could be a missed opportunity here if someone doesn't move. Temperance. This is someone, see, pulling back after a period of time, seeing things different. They're seeing the truth. Yeah, see, look, at there's something to do with a house, a home, a reason to celebrate, which tells me a little excitement, too, here. Yeah. This could be a party, a gathering, a celebration, but it has to do with a um, this foundation here. So there's some sort of foundation between these people already. But let's move forward here. Yeah, see, it has to do with chasing, going after what you want. Victory, success. Win or lose, this person's going to come in. Yep. Because this is, I mean, it has to do with, see, look at both people chasing after. You both want this. Like, move already. Doesn't matter who takes the lead. Let's have a look at the magician. Whoa. Yeah, no, the feminine here. This is the feminine, though. Like, when I see it like this, see, manifesting love. Someone who wants love, longing for love. But this is someone throwing their hands up in the air. This is someone only going to wait so long. It's somebody being open to other options if this person doesn't make a move. Yeah, this is someone who's not chasing. But there's a lot of kindness, compassion. Now, if there was hurt in the past, 
Um, if this is two people who knew each other, I feel there's some sort of forgiveness, somebody confidence, see, forgiving, because there's some sort of truth, some kind of truth here. See, all isn't what it seems. So now yeah, look at love. Two people wanting this. You both want it. It's about giving each other attention. It's about planning, preparing for success, hoping for the best, something long term. Because someone here maybe hasn't had anything long term or, you know, someone who's in, it's an energy of dating, dating lots of people, getting lots of attention. But this is somebody here, I feel the Queen of Cups just feels like giving up, throwing their hands in the air, like give me something I can work with. I'm not budging and moving. I'm protecting myself. I'm protecting my heart, whether this person hurt or not. Because it could be anybody, because I see other people. There's people, obviously, maybe people talking here. But this is someone waiting. See, it's an energy of looking into the future, just waiting to see what happens. But this is someone who's only going to wait so long and they'll move on. So, like I say, making a move. The feminine's open to this. This is someone who's waiting for someone to reciprocate, to initiate. So, if this is something that's been playing out over a period of time, the feminine may have already initiated. And the other person put on the brakes. Why? Competition, third party, uh, someone involved with someone else. I mean, the, this is someone who's not competing. Yeah, see, it's an energy of that chaser. See, this is someone who's letting someone get in the way. They need to hurry up. It's an energy of hurry up. Can only wait so long because there could be other options here. There it is again, change. So I'll see someone here is going, you know what? You're going to move on here. It's time for change. Time to go after what it is you want. And I actually feel there could be love here. I feel that there could be love because that's what I feel with this three of swords. I'm not so much feeling third party. It is possible something happened for some of you that way. But this is something that's left behind already. But this is good news. This is someone getting some kind of good news about change. About someone making a move. See, the tables are turned. That's what I feel. The tables are turned. Yeah, it has to do with emotional fulfillment. Putting all the cups on the table. Laying it on the line. So there's some kind of gathering, opportunity. Could be, a you know, any anything. A wedding, a festival, some sort of... Something's happening. Some kind of gathering. It's like people gathering around. Oh, it could be someone who's who's always got people around them. Someone who gets a lot of attention. So this is someone possibly waiting for the right opportunity. Yeah, there it is. The lovers, crossroads in love, making choices in love. Someone's trying to decide here. See, they haven't decided, but it's a person who's failed to see where they were indecisive and just didn't make a decision. Now some time has definitely gone on here. But it has to do with this this choice in love. This choice. Somebody making choices. Someone's made some not very good choices in the past too because there has been heartache. But wow, yeah, there's the moon. See, I told you it's complicated. So, But it's everything that's being kept hidden. Everything's been hidden. It's now time for it to be put out there. See, it, this is what happens when people don't talk, don't communicate, no one budges. But I really do feel this feminine already initiated. And the other person either, I don't know if it was somebody giving someone a message, relaying it to someone else. Maybe they didn't get it. But this is an indecision. Somebody has to make a decision. So it looks like somebody just didn't make a decision. Maybe there was other people involved, but this is often, it could be someone in a social circle who's jealous, could be, you know, because I feel like there's just, it's complicated, things are hidden, there's a bit of a mystery, it's confusing, so someone feeling kind of confused with the emotional energy. But there's all, and I'm going to tell you, all isn't what it seems, so This these all these cards make up kind of like that, not a seven of swords energy, but it, it's just an energy of it all having to come out in the open because it's confusing, it's complicated, it's hidden. Someone may have been keeping something to themselves here. No, this is no, this is clearing up the confusion. I feel this person's going to come in, this king of wands. They're coming in, they're going after it. Someone is about to make a choice. Yep, ten of pentacles partnering up. So this looks like a place. So this is somebody who wanted this. But they, they didn't make a decision because there's too many people around. 
But what this person I feel didn't see is that all these people around are probably just friends, family. It's friends, I feel, you know, this gathering. Yeah, see, this is someone here looking at this. See, it's a last look over the shoulder. This person's going for it. So the masculine is going to make the move, yep. Now, this has to do with the reason to celebrate. So there's some kind of invitation or gathering. Now, this is often two people who cross paths at some point in the past, and no, nothing happens. Nothing happens because we have a feminine who's not budging or giving in. They're not moving. But then all of a sudden, the masculine decides to do that. But... This is actually going to work out well. There's a celebration. And I also see there's definitely a, a gathering or a get-together of some kind, getting together. It's all about this togetherness. Yeah, see justice and harmony. See, it has to do with harmony and balance, things being right. Now, with that seven of pentacles, maybe it's just two people who have a thing for each other. And someone's not budging or moving because somebody needs to end a relationship. But this is telling me harmony and justice. Someone coming in just right. Yeah, crazy. But there's that when that moon comes out there, that like I say, it just feels complicated. It's so much easier when you're young. And that's what I feel. You know, you're either both thinking of or one of you. It's so easy when you're young. You just reach out, you just go for it. Now it's complicated. You know, when you're older, and it could be because people have been married in the past, you know, there's you know, fear being hurt. But I also see the jealousy. Yeah, this is someone definitely wanting to get it going. See, it's energy. Everything's going to get exposed. So it's telling me everything's going to be all right. Yeah, but I, like I say, it's so much easier when you're young, you know, you just go for it. But this is two people who are mature. They're older, likely been in relationships, dated lots of people. You know, a couple of people who haven't had anything long-term or successful. So it has to do with someone, you know, pulling back after a period of time, seeing things in a whole different light, feeling happier. See, it's that high vibrational, that attraction. Yeah, beautiful. Someone's got to move. Yeah, see, justice come in right, harmony, peace and harmony between two people. Yeah, Somebody's got some ego here. See, their ego's getting in the way, their pride. They could be a little full of themselves here too. Because often a feminine, if somebody comes in that way, a feminine who's experienced this before, maybe two or three times, uh, someone who learns, right? Not to give in or budge. So it's definitely a protecting the heart with the Queen of Cups, someone protecting their heart from being hurt. Yeah. So there it is, justice and harmony, balance. Now this could be, you know, have to do with commitment here. But it's, to me, it looks as though we've got, yeah, see, someone's being cautious. They're playing it safe. They saw so someone a little full of themselves, you know, they're, but they keep everything to themselves. But this is someone now, the tables are turned. So there's this... <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something here also. There's something about this and it's making me laugh because there's something that's going to look completely different once this gets moving. It's going to be funny. This is something that you'd be able to reminisce and laugh at in the future because it's too, it's an energy of being a little smug, but I mean, that curiosity, that wanting to know with that masculine energy, see, not saying anything, just thinking. So it's what they're thinking is the other person's either talking to other people, trying to make them jealous, but it's not true. It's not true. So after a period of time, this is seeing things in a whole different light. It's going to come out in the open. I, I feel like we just got two people who are just, honestly, it's, it's, the, it's the people in the story who are making it complicated. There it is. Offering the cup. Someone needs to offer that cup. Because so no one's going to get what they want. And it looks like it's something that maybe happened. Nobody really got what they wanted. There was some kind of event or gathering. But someone was being a little full of themselves here. But I'm going to tell you, we got someone who's going to be eating a little. And I think the masculine's thinking the other person's full of themselves. But it's not true. <laughs> it's actually the other way around. Oh, my gosh. 
Come on already. Pride and ego. Yeah, see some lessons have been learned here. Someone gathering info. You're, it's mirroring. You're mirroring each other. You both want it. And you're making it more complicated than it needs to because nobody wants to budge or give in to the other person. It's like, I'm going to win. I'm going to be the one to make them eat humble pie. And I do see some humor here. But this is someone learning some lessons, gathering info. See, there's a little time in between. So there's some time in between, you know, six days, six weeks, six months, maybe even six years for some of you. But this is somebody here who's learned some lessons here. Someone's going to be eating some humble pie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This person's been focusing on their money. See, they're planning something now. They've grounded themselves. They've, they've definitely grounded themselves, and they're now looking at this, planning, preparing something, getting themselves ready. Up, yep, truth. Win or lose. This person knows. Win or lose. The Empress wants this person. And they see a future with them. But only, and they will cut them out if they don't hurry up because there are possibly other opportunities. But this isn't someone trying to make someone jealous. It's just what someone's thinking because there's a lack of clarity because they don't know everything. So they're gathering info, probably talking to people, trying to find out. And they're going to find out some truth. And there's going to be some real aha moments here. And some ha-ha moments too. <laughs> Yep, that's what happens when you get older and you've dated lots of people, you know, and uh, none have been successful, you know, hasn't been long term. You kind of get into that point where, and quite honestly, it's just the people making it complicated. And it's really quite simple. See? And what's so interesting, when these two people come together, it is going to be easy. There's going to be harmony. These are two people who are going to get along just fine. But someone's going to eat a little humble pie here. I have to talk, talk more about this King of Wands, which is connected to the Emperor. This is something he's learning. See, it's taking it to the next level. Life path choice decision. It's about approaching someone. And it's about taking something to the next. So this is two people who crossed have crossed paths. And possibly, and it could be someone who's gone their separate way from someone else too. So... Take it how it resonates, but yeah, it's about taking it to another level. Cooperation, compromise, compatibility, that's what this person needs to do. But it's what two people bring to the table. See, it's about providing. Someone felt somebody wanted them, someone to provide for them. And now the tables are turned because someone's finding out some truth from other people. So there is a little, there's, there's, there are definitely aha moments here. So now this is somebody here, and I, maybe somebody hurt somebody or hurt their feelings here too regarding this in the past, but it's all going to get cleared up. Yeah, see, trust the intuition, your inner knowing. See, this is someone, I feel like you both already know the answers you're seeking, but somebody here definitely is, see, look at that. This is somebody in, in their king and queen of cups. Somebody keep it all, keeping it all in. This is someone kept it all to themselves. See, they they were, you know, they're all full of themselves here. They have everything they need, but they don't have love. It's like, like I say, they're going to eat some humble pie. But it's about coming in humbled. <laughs> Wish you guys the best. Do take care and we'll see you soon.